you're very involved now with the Hilton uh, Prize Coalition. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. How, how is that a part of this kind of new moment that we're experiencing in development? So the Hilton Prize Coalition is an independent alliance, and it's the winners of the largest humanitarian prize in the world. It's $2 million of unrestricted funding. It's a pretty great prize to win. It I was at the Gala last year in New York. Not bad. I mean, yeah. these are people on the front lines of humanitarian work, and to get recognized like that, it's really an amazing opportunity. They're really best-in-class organizations, and they've come together in that sort of best-of-class spirit to really build a storytelling movement around collaboration. So we're looking at building actually a global movement around collaboration, specifically looking at the humanitarian divide. So how do we bring first responding organizations together with development organizations? A lot of folks think of storytelling as maybe a byproduct, as something you do after a project. You know, How do we communicate better what we did? Is that how you're looking at it here? It sounds like you're taking a different approach. It's a little bit different of an approach, and I think it's also a little, little different audience. So we're not telling the story of beneficiaries. We're still telling the story of the community that was on the ground, specifically in Nepal, during mm -hmm. the earthquake almost a year ago. The people actually doing the aid work. Actually doing the work. Um, one, of the, one of the most amazing things that uh, I heard during that time was um, uh, Pierre from Heifer International mm -hmm. uh, said, if a mountain is sliding at you, you're a first responder <laughs> because you literally have to. Yeah. And it's your community that you're taking care of and you're embedded in that community. And um, that's, this is the story of those people, this documentary that we're put together for, um, that we're premiering at DevEx, is the story of the people who were embedded in the communities, whether they were first responders or development agencies and the work that they did um, post-earthquake. Post, uh, yeah, we're really excited to announce that we're going to have this documentary from Nepal yeah. premiere at DevEx World. What's interesting to me is most people think about storytelling, I think, again, as I said, a byproduct. But in this case, you're saying storytelling can be the, the focus and that actual project work, development work can come out of that. Yeah, it's sort of a, I would call it sort of a new theory of change. So we're starting with storytelling, which is actually um, brought collaboration together with these six organizations. So they, they built the crew that told, that's telling the story themselves. They became the documentary crew. So, uh, so it's really remarkable because just the spirit of collaboration that came around telling of the story has then gone on to create a formal collaborative function within these uh, organizations that are in Nepal. I think we need to rethink what collaboration means. So collaboration doesn't have to mean that we're doing a project on the ground together. What it can mean is one of the coalition members, uh, for, is a great example, um, is, is being funded to look at their data um, pre and post disaster, their donor data, their privacy, all of these technical things you know, that they need to do and make sure they're locked down in times of disaster. That work is being funded. That laureate has now lifted that up to the rest of the organization and said, the rest of the organizations and said, um, you know, look, I'm building this best in class model with my funders. Why don't I leverage that with the next 19, with the other 19 of you? So you can all use it. So you can all use it. And so now collaboration is happening at an IT level hmm. as opposed to we're going to have to do a project on the ground and we're going to have to figure out resources and you know it's just a completely different way of looking at collaboration. The organizations themselves really want to collaborate or does it feel like it's outside pressure that's causing them to? What, t tell us about those dynamics. What's fascinating is um, living through this process of creating the documentary is they are demanding collaboration on the ground. They're desperate for it. Especially uh, I think in a post-disaster situation or while disaster is happening a lot of the organizations, um, for instance, realized that they didn't have standard operating procedures just for their own staff mm -hmm. in times of disaster. And so now that they have a network that they can go to, they can easily sort of grab those things from other organizations. Makes sense, yeah, because I can see people watching this or people who are in the development community for a long time saying, oh, we always hear about collaboration. It sounds great, but there's also competition. These groups want to you know, compete for funding or compete for their area of focus. But your point is great that actually on the ground, if you're serving the same people, you need to do the collaboration. It's not, it's not a choice, really. It's just a question of how. 